Good morning, Facebook. Welcome to bringing the zoo to you here at Brookfield Zoo. My name is Craig. I'm a keeper here at Wild Encounters in our ambassador program. And back by popular demand, we have our llamas. This is Cinnamon with Keeper Scott. And this is Lucy with Jill. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the llamas, but we're also going to demonstrate a really cool behavior that Jill trained Lucy to do. So let's take it away, Jill. Let's see if we can get this behavior going. So Lucy's pretty special in the fact that she can take selfies. So um, maybe if you want to take a step back, Lynette, so we can get that on the frame. Lucy, selfie. Good girl. So um, this behavior uh, took a while to train. Lucy's pretty shy. Um, and I think she likes doing it so much is because um, we're not like facing her head on and she's kind of like um, just behind me on my shoulder. Um, but it was kind of a combination of a targeting behavior. Good girl! Um, and uh, just reinforcing it. Um, so I, used, I started by targeting her over my shoulder and then gradually moved my arm further and further back until I switched it out with my cell phone and was able to um, use it to take photos. So she knows when my arm goes up, that's the cue, and I say the word selfie. And then she's trained to put her head on my shoulder, and then I reward that with her favorite treats, which are oats. So I've got some oats in my hand right here, as well as some grain, which is part of her regular diet. But we supplement that with, um, you know, fruits and veggies and different kinds of brows that we receive from ComEd um, that supplies the zoo with different kinds of leaves and branches for us to feed out to our animals too, which they really, really love. And Scott's behind us with Cinnamon over here, and he's actually feeding some oats as well. But Cinnamon's been sampling the local cuisine. Oh, yeah. And um, he's got some willow branches, too, that she usually really enjoys. We'll see if she'll take some. She's really into the oats right now, but um, she likes a lot of the brows that we give them. So as part of our training, as you can tell with Lucy and Cinnamon, um, both of them are wearing halters right now, and we're walking them around with a lead. Now, all of this is voluntary with our llamas, so they are trained to actually walk voluntarily and stand for us. Um, and that way it makes, us, makes it a lot easier for us to take them out for programs. Um, so we spent a lot of time with them, uh, just training them to stand and comfortably put on a halter and then rewarding them with some of their favorite treats such as oats. Um, and then they will let, stand there and let us clip on their lead. And that way we can use them for programming, we can walk them around. They, the llamas love getting out in the zoo, so sometimes we take them out for walks and just let them see some of the other animals around the zoo. Um, in Cinnamon's case, she tends to just like to see whatever food is available at the zoo, so um, she was already out here kind of sampling some of the trees and some of the leaves. Um, she doesn't seem as interested in the willow right now because I think there's just too much good stuff out here. We'll see if she'll uh, take some willow, take some oats. And llamas are really cool if you when you watch them eat. If you watch the way her lips move, um, very similar to camels because they are related. Um, their lips actually, her upper lip will kind of move independently. She's got the um, two parts that move and they help just kind of feel stuff out and scoop up food. It really comes in handy for grazing and eating grass or um, earlier when she was eating some of the leaves on the tree. Kind of helps her reach up and just, you know, be able to grab some of the leaves and pull them right off the branches. Think she wants that. No, I don't think she does either. She's <laughs> really into oats right now. That's kind of their favorite. Uh, so with Lucy and the selfie, when would when would that be used? Oh, it's just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we do it during chats. We would uh, like during the regular uh, chat season. We would do chats up here in the llama yard. And it's kind of a fun way to show how we can use training to do different behaviors. Um, and it's training is more than just. Um, you know, asking your dog to sit or give paw or something like that. We use it for um, uh, mental stimulation too. So it's kind of like when the animals are going to school. Um, it makes her think, it makes her kind of wonder like what we're doing, it builds a relationship between us. Um, so it's kind of a fun behavior with, um, you know, just for us to exercise Lucy's brain. Um, so she's she knows a lot of other uh, behaviors as well. Um, so Lucy and Cinnamon are each target trained, so they each have a different colored shape. Target, good. Um, a different colored shape that they can distinguish between, um, so that they know which is which. Um, so we do target training, um, all kinds of different behaviors. I think she's trying to get the oats that are on the ground right now, so she's a little distracted. 
Uh, but yeah, Scott mentioned they're halter trained and they're trained to walk on leads. Um, so they do some pretty good stuff. Luke, uh, Cinnamon over there likes to be brushed and she'll let people pet her, but um, Lucy's a little more shy. So when we first got her, she was so shy that she wouldn't really even take food from our hands. So being able to train her and work with her very frequently allows us to build that relationship, make her more comfortable around people, and be able to do stuff like this. So Scott, what kind of target do you have over there? So Cinnamon's target actually matches her, um, her halter here. She's got a green triangle, so she's, uh, she likes to coordinate her clothing a lot. She's very into fashion and stuff, so she decided on the green target to go with the halter. She's really good. Good. I shouldn't say good too many times. <laughs> <laughs> we like to use uh, uh, good as the bridge to reward them with food. Um, but yeah, so she's, uh, like I think Jill mentioned, um, they do differentiate between the shapes and the colors, and that way yeah. they know which target is theirs. We'll see if she'll, uh, she'll go down to the ground yeah. for it. Cinnamon, target. Good girl. So she likes to... She's pretty good about we can place it anywhere and she'll uh, she'll see one and go for the target. You want some more leaves? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, so what's that vocalization that Cinnamon's making? So the, um, the llamas, well, it kind of almost sounds like a humming sound. Um, they do that to communicate with one another. Sometimes they do it to communicate with us. Um, these two are very, they've lived together for a very long time. So um, the two of them, we like to bring them out together all the time because they're very comfortable with one another. So sometimes when you hear them doing that, they're just kind of communicating to each other. Do you want to share with Lucy? <laughs> Lucy's excited for that. <laughs> Cinnamon's more about the oats. Lucy really some. likes uh, brows. One of the common questions we do get about the llamas is do we shear them? And the answer is yes. Um, so we typically shear them at the end of spring, usually around May or so. And the reason for that is we want to give their coats time to grow in enough for the winter so that they uh, will be insulated enough. But um, So we only shear them once a year and we do use their hair for enrichment for other animals. All right, thank you guys for joining us. As always, thank you for your support and uh, have a nice day.